What is up guys, welcome into this new video to Express. My name is Steven and I'm going to be showing you how to use Print to Try. For actual beginners, you don't need to know anything about this sign. I mean, maybe you have like a brand or idea of how you can get started here into Printify. But if you don't, you have to worry about that. I'm going to be showing you really, really quick how we can use Printify and how you can use this app to earn a little bit of money. So in order to get started here, what I wanted to do is to go into Printify.com. If you don't have an account, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description so you can get started totally for free. And now in, in my case, I already have an account being created. Created. And sometimes it's going to be asking you to add or connect your actual store. So connecting your store is going to be helping you to, let's say here into Printify, we designed a lot of stuff, a lot of products. And then later on, we can connect our products directly into, for example, Shopify, Walmart, eBay, Wext, uh, API, Etsy, whatever. So uh, in my case, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to open a new tab. And I'm going to be opening a new platform, an online store. It's called Etsy. Now here into Etsy.com, I do have a shop. And here, what I want to do is to add my very first listing using Printify. I'm going to be showing you how we can do this. So let's go back here into Printify. If you don't have a store, I can strongly suggest you to use, for example, Etsy, since Etsy, it's not going to be taking truly, truly like a lot. Or here into eBay, for example, you can start by selling stuff totally for free. You can get uh, 200 items for free every month, I believe. So choose the best, uh, the best store channel that you wanted to and hit into connect. In my case, what I wanted to do is to go for Etsy. Since I already have an account into Etsy and I already have my actual store, it's going to be granted the access right away. So now that my account are both linked, here is the actual fun part. I can go into the catalog and here into the catalog, I'm going to focus into feature products. So here's going to be showing you all the products that you can start creating with only this sign that you're going to be generating here. So we can create a cut and CUT. We can create something like this. We can create something like this. So if I focus, let's say, for example, into some accessories, it's going to be showing me bags, hats, underwear, socks, phone cases, uh, mouse pads, baby accessories, pants, and really, really a lot of stuff that we can use with. So um, let's focus, for example, into hats. And let's say that I have already a day sign here. So as you can see, this is like the preview of how it's going to be looking your product. So let's say that I choose this one, for example. And it's going to be showing me the actual elements, the specifications, read more. And we have a few mockups of how it's going to be looking our actual product. You can take it out. You can take it out the actual preview after you add your stuff here. Let's go, for example, into start the design. But first of all, into the variable print providers, what I can totally suggest to you is to look out for the one that you might think that can give you the best resource. For example, if you wanted to get like a uh, faster production time or the lowest price or the lowest shipping cost you choose the elements that best fits for you so let's say that i go for sort by the lowest shipping cost and for example here you have this location from canada and the price is nine dollars and the shipping is seven dollars and the print area the size and here are the colors and then i'm going to hit now into start the design and now it's going to be asking to import our actual design in order to see it into our actual, uh, let's say, product. So in my case, I'm going to hit now into my computer and I'm going to just input something really, really easy. Let's say, for example, this one. And now, as you can see, your file is uploading. Please wait. What I can totally suggest you is to upload a PNG file that does not have an actual background so you can have fully editable your actual element. So it's going to be appearing something like this. Once you have generated that let's say for example you're going to go into my save my products and here i have the title image and the mock-up views so here's my front the side the back and the pose and the image title the image size this is how it's going to be looking i can hit into the zoom so i can take a look into the preview how it's going to be looking my design if you like that you can close it down in here you can go for the title let's say for example trucker caps um star number one let's say for example we're gonna just leave it like this the description usually uh imports all the information about the material the, the fitable the colors adjustable stuff so you can just leave it like that if you want to add more stuff you can do that in my case i'm going to just leave it like that and now down here we have the prices and variance this is the part where you can start to earn money so 
Speaking about how we can earn money with this actual product, check it out here. We have the retail price that costs $15 and the profit, it would be $6. So if I wanted to earn the 40% of this product, um, what I need to do is to actually sell this product a little bit more higher than it is here. So if I wanted to do, let's say for example, earn only the 15% of each sale, I'm going to be earning $1 if I sell this item with the actual retail price. So the more higher the percentage, the more profit I'm going to be getting. But this is not necessarily like the best tool in order to earn money. Since we're just getting started, I can totally suggest you to have a really low profit margin until you make some a huge few sales and then later on we can start to let's say level up our profit margin you can stick around with the five percent if you wanted to and then hit now into published so once i hit into published it's going to appear in here the publishing section here is my actual product it's looking really really great so there you have it guys it isn't that hot lastly guys if you wanted to sell stuff totally for free if you wanted to sell stuff totally free without having to import or creating some Etsy, Shopify account, whatever, you can create a free website into Google Sites. And here, for example, let's say that I wanted to sell this ring neck thumb, uh, thumbler and let's say for example that i wanted to just import my product let's say for example here if i have striped here into stripe what i can do is to import my product and what i just did here inside striped is to add my product so adding the product here into stripe this is like paypal i can add let's say a verified payment method so what i wanted to do now with if i add this actual product i can create an actual payment link by creating a payment link this is how it's going to be looking the actual payment linked page so this is the payment page and after the payment this is how it's going to be looking so i'm going to hit into create my link and now i'm going to hit now into uh, adding the actual buy button so i can go and copy this code and I paste it in here. And this is how it should be looking my actual stuff. And later on, I can add, let's say, for example, like a quick image here. I'm going to hit into upload. I download the image directly from Printify because I wanted to show the real product. And as you can see, I have now my product already been added in here. So it is not that hard, but it's really, really not that hard to earn money here and to printify. What is just left to be done is just to make some sales by making some marketing, uh, sharing this into your social medias through whatever and do all the things that you wanted to the ideas are truly endless and if you want to check out more stuff here you can check it out printify you have the free bows and we have the published stuff so it's really 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 great to have this actual stuff with you guys so with that being said we have now reached the very end of the video guys so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more amazing tools here into the actual stuff so thank you once again for watching the video guys and well with that being said i will see you on the actual next video